this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will see how to add a third party CDN into our web components and how to use them. In my previous video, I have explained how to create a card structure with a plain HTML and CSS. So now we'll try to add our bootstrap content into our web components and we'll try to implement the same type of stuff using bootstrap CDN. So here I have created a HTML and a index.js file. Index.js is already embedded into my HTML. Now these are the web components which I created in my previous video and let me show you a demo. Here if you see we have something like this a card structure and you have a button as well as a error message that is shown in between these components. So in the same way what we can do is just go here and I wanna remove all the border and uh, as well as a padding width everything from here and just I want to use bootstrap card how to use that let me save this and to use the bootstrap card we can either install that bootstrap but in this case I just don't want to install anything because I am creating these particular content by using CDNs let me go here and this is the official bootstrap website and if you go here you can see some CSS file is inside this particular bootstrap and this is showing something like a CDN let me copy this CDN and let me paste here and here let me comment it okay so now we want this CDN to be in our link tag so let me create that link tag first okay const link element is equal to I am just creating the link element by using document dot create element of I want to create a link tag so pass the link tag and for this link tag I am setting an attribute set attribute of my href href comma I am setting this particular URL which is given by CDN of bootstrap CSS that is bootstrap dot min dot CSS let me copy this and pass it as a second parameter now after this let me add this link element dot set attribute another property is something related to rel attribute and for this attribute i am adding something like a style sheet so let me copy this style sheet and paste here and give semicolon now my link tag is created with the bootstrap cdn and the link element should be appended to my shadow shadow dot append child of the link element so link element now my link will be ready after the link is ready i just don't want to use all this stuff i can remove all the data from my div and for this div i want to add one of the class which is given by bootstrap so let me use that class as div dot set attribute of i want to set an attribute of class which is having a card the card is a css class let me save this and now go back and go to the output let me reload here so you got a card inside this but you are not able to see that card because of this particular padding so here if you see there is a margin which is created let me zoom it and if you zoom so the error message is created inside a container and this is having some elevation that elevation tells you that we are using a bootstrap card so let me go back and make some changes to visible better way just we are trying to use a class of bootstrap like padding 3 let me reload this now you got a small difference and whenever you are added this bootstrap link then we are able to use all the bootstrap content and the classes so here we have something like a height and width even we can use that height and width over the div itself directly now so div dot you can use style dot height equal to let me give auto directly because already we have the card so when I give auto automatically when the card size increases this also get increased div dot style dot width equal to just let me get this div by using get attribute attribute of I'm just trying to get the attribute value and for this attribute value let me use width if this width exists then I can use this width else we can go with 18 rem there is one more format called as rem which can be applied on your styles and let me go here reload so if you see here the card size has been decreased and it is half of the screen and now we are using all this stuff here that's 
absolutely fine and all the bootstrap classes has been working as expected but if you see this inner html this inner html we are passing from our html content itself so in this case if i am applying my css over these buttons does it affect with the bootstrap or not yes absolutely it will affect that because even this content is also into the shadow root so i can use btn space btn hyphen primary this is my css classes of a bootstrap and let me go back and reload now the css has been applied even for that bootstrap so whatever the elements which are used inside this particular custom elements or the custom components that will affect along with the link whatever the CDN we are using. For example, here we are using a bootstrap CDN. So that is the reason all the bootstrap classes are working in the inner HTML of the custom element. In the upcoming videos, we will try to understand the life cycle of a particular custom elements and how to handle them and when they will be called, what should be the implemented, what are the different types of life cycle over this custom element. We will check out in the next upcoming video. Wanna learn backend development, then follow the medium blog. I'll provide the link in the description. If you like the posts, please like, share and follow the blog. It will be very helpful for you. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.